it is vlog time once again and here I am about to go out for a run. So, uh, now last week was a bit weird. If you're new here to this channel, uh, I might have mentioned the uh, US president, uh, Mr. Tickle, and uh, that famous Roger Hargreaves uh, cartoon character, Donald Trump, uh, in last week's video, uh, and also some fishnet stockings and stilettos might have also got to mention. So, um, yeah, things can get a bit weird around here, uh, but please stay around, <laughs> please. You know, don't worry, we do talk about running as well on occasion. And I'm going to do that right now because it's time for me to go out for a run. Uh, I'm recording this on the August bank holiday uh, weekend, but this video will go out at the start of September. And I think this is a great time of year for running, really, because we're heading out of summer. Mm, some might not like that, might not think that's a great thing. But when we're knocking on the door of autumn, we can still have some perfectly nice weather, but it can be not quite so blazingly hot and therefore quite good for going out and having a run which is what I'm doing today so uh, it now it has actually been I look I was checking this before I came out six weeks since I went over 10k and I'm quite pleased really because during that really hot weather that we've had uh, in Europe and particularly here in England we had some really hot weather during July and August I've still managed to get out and do quite a few 10k so I'm quite pleased about that uh, but uh, it, it means that I haven't pushed on where I kind of wanted to push on because I've been trying to push on since since the dawn of time, I think. It certainly feels like it. So I'm hoping today that I can kind of start crawling my way back to some kind of uh, uh, purpose, some kind of uh, pushing on. So I'm going to try and do 12k today. It will be slightly daft, I think, having not done uh, more than 10k for six weeks to suddenly try and get back to where I was before that, to try and suddenly go out and do a 14 or even more. That would just be, be stupid. So I'm going to try and get back up, but I needn't take that many runs. If the weather stays sort of like this, who knows what will happen over the next few videos. So do stay tuned and do subscribe to watch more if you haven't already. Right, let's get cracking, let's have a run, and we'll have a bit of a chat about things afterwards. It's stone cold. I don't mind telling you, that was hard. It's, I'm recording this, I don't know if I said at the beginning, I'm recording this uh, on the August bank holiday and this will be going out uh, at the beginning of September. So although the forecast was that it was gonna be a bit cool and the winds are coming from the north, um, that sun has still got some strength to it. And, uh, and also today was my uh, kind of 80-20, it was my 20 where I could give it just a little bit more, but because I was going further distance, I didn't go mad. But having said that, I'm quite pleased with the times. So let's bring those up on the screen. And you'll see actually that my 10K time, as I did you are a mass, uh, was uh, just under, well, it was about one hour and about 45 seconds, something something like that, give or take a second. So I'm quite pleased with that, actually. That's, uh, that's pretty good. And uh, oh, that was hard. That was really hard. I must give a shout out actually to Kelly, Kelly Mason. Hi, Kelly, who I know saw on Strava this morning had been out and done a 12k uh, distance, drawing a pretty pattern around Sulphur Keys. So, uh, which I really like, I really like that pattern, Kelly. Don't ever stop doing that. And uh, yeah, I thought, oh, 12k, brilliant. And that, I'd already decided that I was gonna try 12k today. But when I was sort of thinking during the run, there was a couple of times when I thought, oh, I don't know whether I'm gonna make this and maybe I'll just do 10k today. But I thought, Kelly, thought you, Kelly. And also I thought, of course, that I'd said at the beginning of the video that I was going to do 12K. So that is also a bit of a serious uh, motivational push for me to do it. But oh boy, was that hard. It was tough. Sometimes it's just like that, of course. 
but uh, I did enjoy it because I haven't been out for a few days. So um, it also probably would have helped if I'd gone for a 5K, perhaps between the last run and this one. My last one being 10K and that was a few days ago. So, but you know, weather again, just didn't happen. So there we are. <sighs> now, <clears throat> well, something happened during the run, apart from, you know, the whole social distancing thing and having to throw myself into the path of oncoming traffic on quite a few occasions, as I'm sure many of you have to do as well. <laughs> Now, during the run, uh, I sometimes listen to podcasts, sometimes listen to music. I've mentioned that before. And today I was listening to music and I uh, just randomly. Now, I don't know how the algorithm on the streaming service that I use, I don't know how it picks tracks for me, really, when I just say, play me something uh, that I might like, because I've got a real wide taste in music. I'm not going to listen to anything from classical to heavy metal and everything in between. I like all sorts of genres and years. It's very little that I don't like. Not a big fan of opera. My sister says that I should... I should go and see one and then I'd change my mind, but I don't know, it doesn't do it for me. And um, country, I've never been a big fan of country for some reason. I don't know why. Some crossover country, well, maybe. But you know, each to their own. But there, there's very little that I won't listen to, actually. I do like a lot of stuff. So I wonder how the algorithm has any idea what to pick for me. Anyway, today it brought back a, a crashing memory from years ago because it decided to play me, for some bizarre reason, a track from OMD. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, you may have heard of them. And the reason that that made me just for a moment go a bit, Ugh, is because uh, it made me think of when I got my very first CD player. Now, kids, a CD player is a little box that you put in an indestructible disc um, that then, of course, uh, plays you music. I know, it's old fashioned, isn't it? And uh, yeah, anyway, my very first CD player that I bought. I was a student at the time, so I didn't have an awful lot of money. And this CD player was flipping enormous. I mean, you could have quite comfortably parked a family hatchback on it. It was huge. And I had it there. And oh, and I had to plug it into an amp. Now, I had a second-hand amp, really old amp. And it was, I'll say how old it was. It had one of those ones that had, like, wood around the outside of it. No idea why, but it just did. And lots of buttons, which most of them didn't work. But, uh, so I, but I didn't have anywhere to put it, so it kind of was on the floor. So I had this huge... Uh, CD player and, and the amp and the speakers. So it, that was all sitting there. Now, because I'd spent so much of my non-existent money on buying the CD player, I didn't have any money left over to actually buy any CDs to play in it. So I managed to scrape together the pennies to buy a CD. Now, I decided what I would do is to look for the CD in the shop that had the most tracks on it, because I thought I'm not going to be able to buy any other CDs for some considerable time. So I found OMD's Greatest Hits. And that had, and I can't really remember now, but it must have had 20-something tracks on it. It had loads and loads of tracks on it. Now, I'm not particularly a fan of OMD, so I don't know why I bought it. I don't know why, but, you know, I wasn't a massive fan. But I bought it anyway. And then, of course, that meant that I listened to OMD pretty much non-stop for the next six months. And Enola Gay might be a great track, but after the 500th time of listening to it in the same week, it starts to lose some of its appeal. So, actually, when it came on, OMD came on, uh, the streaming service, there was a moment when I thought about ripping the AirPods out of my ears and just throwing them over the nearest wall. So, there we are. <laughs> I don't know what ever happened to that, uh, that CD player. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I haven't got it anymore. I'd need a much bigger house if I did. I think it's probably, I don't know, supporting a flyover or a block of flats somewhere. I mean, it was just gigantic. I don't know what was in it. So, I mean, especially the CD players that came out subsequently, they were a lot smaller than that. Anyway, I don't know why I told you that story. It just made me think of it. Well, I, it's the first time I've heard in the OMD for a long time. So goodness only knows why the algorithm decide to, uh, decided to play it to me. But there's algorithms for you. As anybody who took any exams recently will be able to tell you. And anybody who has a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, algorithms, eh? Got to love them. Anyway, there we are. Uh, we didn't talk much about running today, did we? <laughs> but I did warn you at the beginning of this, if you are a new viewer, that it can get like that sometimes. But I do like to talk about running, and we do cover some interesting things. Recently, we talked about 80-20 running, and we've talked about... Um, well, we must have talked about other things. I'm sure we have. Have a look back in the archive. We must have talked about some other useful stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to sign off there. Uh, I will see you next week, and I'm going to see what happens on the weather side because I would very much like to make my next video the second week of my half marathon training which hasn't which was the first week was six weeks ago so um, I really do want to move on with that so we'll see we'll see what happens I've made a I'm really pleased that I've been 12k today and kind of made some some positive steps in that direction it's all good stuff 
So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like <coughs> and subscribe if you uh, if you've enjoyed the video and if I can get the words out from the sort of the fly. And I will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>